Reporting live. No, I'm just kidding. That was not really that funny, but I try. I thought it was hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. People don't believe that I have a sense of humor. You know what? They're not for you. There you go. I appreciate the support, sis. She's going to be an angel for Halloween, so I don't know what to tell you. She's going to be an angel for Halloween? She's the devil. She First of all, <laughs> that's not what I had said. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Shalom. Most like Christ bless. This is Iowasi, Connecticut. We're here for Cuts from the Streets. I'm Officer Josedek, and I have with me... Officer Mikhail. And... Soldier Abishai. We all know our people love celebrating things they don't know. Our people love dressing up as ghouls and goblins, witches, Spider-Man, Superman, but do they really know why they're doing it? That's what we're here to do. We're here to talk to other people to see what they know about the origins of Halloween. See you there. No. No. Uh, why not? I used to, but I, I don't believe in it anymore. What, 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 changed, what changed in your mind about Halloween? Well, I got older and wiser. I don't. No, I do not celebrate Halloween. Okay. Was, is that more of a something that you were taught, or is it just you don't really see the need to celebrate it? I think a combination of both. So I grew up um, in an Ethiopian Christian family, and we were very strict on you know, not um, allowing things that could be considered demonic um, into the household or just into our lives. So um, I didn't celebrate it in that way. Obviously, as a kid, it was really hard to feel excluded since it was so integrated into our schools and just our lives in America. And then growing up, uh, getting closer to my own faith, I realized, yeah, it just does feel unnecessary. What he's asking is the candy-wise, as far as when we go out, usually, do your mom check your candy? Right, so what he's saying to you as far as like, those are the type oh, of- people put stuff in the candy. Correct. Okay, very good, very good. So that's an example, or stranger danger, for example. So during this time of the year, a lot of things happen that are unbeknownst to us because they don't put it out there, but we have to raise awareness. And that's kind of why we're out here. We also want to show our people that biblically speaking, inside of the Bible, God doesn't condone this. This is something that was created mm -hmm. for us to pull money back into the government as opposed to supporting ourselves financially. Um, I celebrate it mostly just for her uh, because I, I believe it's important for her to get out, be in the community for a positive thing. And mm -hmm. normally, you know, Halloween can be a positive, a positive thing. So. so you say can be a positive thing. Yeah. So what's the other side of that thing? Um, people acting foolish, but you know. <laughs> Doesn't take a special day for that. Every day. Oh, oh you said some spe a special day for that. Do you know the origins of Halloween, where it comes from? Because I, I used to celebrate Halloween when I was growing up, too. Ah, this is what that interview is for. Okay, yeah, it's paganism. Yeah, I don't see any problem with it. When you say we, who are we speaking about? I'm just talking we about people. we as a people, yes. No, we as a people, as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as a people, is it okay for us to celebrate Halloween? Well, in general, I think it's okay for anyone to celebrate any holiday, but as a people, it's probably not the best idea, but that's okay. So now, my next question is, do you know what Halloween is? You first. Based on what you said, probably not. I just know off the strength of the American tradition where they show us with candy and costumes. Okay, very good, very good. What do you say? Um, I don't know the exact definition, but I know it's to honor the evil spirits and it's a lot of evil and, and, and bad stuff. It's not about Jesus and Lord and stuff like that. It's actually the opposite. Very good. That's a heavy point. We stopped celebrating. Why did you stop celebrating? It was, uh, uh, I don't, it just had too much demonic, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it was associated too much with a, 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 a demonic background. Devil worshiping, right? Pretty, pretty much like that. Exactly, right. Do you know the origins of Halloween? Um, mm, you tell me. I don't. Why is that? Um, just because I don't like holidays like that. Well, what is the reason why you wouldn't like the holiday? Because everybody loves Halloween. Everybody celebrates it. So why don't you like it? Um, because I'd rather stay in bed and not eat candy that's going to send us to the dentist the next day. This is true. That's fair. But outside of the actual health reasonings, is there any other purposes? It, would it be like, let's say, um, philosophical, religious, research? I mean, for me, it's really just 
I just choose not to. There's no like deep reason as to, I just don't have a desire to celebrate a holiday outside of my own birthday. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. I'm learning more about, I used to do Christmas too. Absolutely, me too. There's no Santa Claus comes down the chimney. Absolutely not, absolutely not. My, when I grew up, my mother and father, they was into Christmas, I believed in Christmas. No more. Absolutely. We, we celebrate a whole bunch of things, but we never really delve into why we celebrate those things, right? That's what we're here to do. All right, read that for me. Deuteronomy 32, verse 16. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 16. Uh -huh. They provoked him to jealousy. They provoked God to jealousy, the Israelites in the wilderness, right? Why? Go ahead. With strange gods. With strange gods. Because when our people celebrate Halloween, do you know that they're celebrating the God? Must be a bad one. It absolutely is a bad one. It's called Sam Hain. That's what our people celebrate. Sam Hain, read on. With abominations, they provoked him mm -hmm. to anger. Uh huh. Keep reading. They sacrificed unto devils. See what? They sacrificed unto devils. Every Halloween, you see our people coming up looking like ghouls, goblins, witches, ghosts, right? right? That's, 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 right. that's Satanists, right, guy? Right. Not to God. Not to God, guy. To gods whom they knew not. Gods we did not know. We did not know these gods coming up out of, right. out of um, right. Egypt, right, guy? to new gods that came newly up whom father, whom your fathers feared not. Right, because that comes from the uh, Druids, okay? The Celtics in Europe. They were celebrating this witchcraft, right, go ahead. Of the rock that begat thee, thou art unmindful. The rock is, who's the rock? Probably Jesus. It is, all right, it's Christ, okay? Read that again. Of the rock that begat thee, thou art unmindful, uh -huh. and hast forgotten God that formed thee. We forgot God that formed us and want to go celebrate other gods. That's why we're bringing our kids out there to uh, worship Sam Hain. That's because that's what's going on when we're celebrating that. I guess I feel that Halloween is a really unique um, example because of how, like you said, demonic it is. Um, but I think like even my family has talked about with Christmas there being ties to like paganism um, in that sense so I, I can see how that also uh, could be non-biblical so hmm, it feels like I'm like disrupting the fabric of like the country but I would say yeah if it's not like if it doesn't have like a sound biblical like backing mm -hmm. maybe we should yeah we shouldn't really engage in like those those kind of celebrations and they would go from house to house looking for knocking on the doors mm -hmm. like trick or treat right saying all right uh give up your young virgins so they can sacrifice to sam haney right okay. and if they did not what you know what they would do what would they, would, do? they would put a pumpkin carve out the insides put burning flesh in there and leave it on the doorstep of the people and say listen if we come back in the morning time and no virgin is here Everybody in the house getting sacrificed. Oh, wow. Could you believe that? No, I can't. Here's, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. um, some of uh, our children need to understand what the holidays represent and probably need to have some participation in those holidays as they are, as they are younger. And then as they get older, they need to make those decisions on their, on their own on what they want to celebrate as adults. But as parents, we try to guide our children in the right way. Mm -hmm. We try to guide our children based on on what, how we were raised, because I was raised Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm, now I'm non-denominational. Um, so my beliefs have changed over the years as I've gotten older. I'm 67 years old. Mm -hmm. A lot of things I don't believe. Mm -hmm. A lot of things I don't follow. I don't follow you guys. Mm -hmm. I know you who you are. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that my children's children won't follow you. Mm -hmm. But they'll have to make their own, they have to make their own decisions based on how we introduce it to them. Right, that's, that's interesting, some things you said, right? So you say they should make their choice, right? Right. But do you think if we know better, we should teach them better? We should. Now, um, so you're not gonna be celebrating it, right? No, never did. Okay, very good, why is that? Um, growing up, my mom didn't believe in spiritual things like that, especially we're heavy Christians, so it was never costumes, we never had candy or anything like that in our home. So when you say, um, Christians, why is it wrong for a Christian to celebrate Halloween? Uh, basically because of the spirits and everything, certain like spirits that come with Halloween. Like that's the education that I got from this situation, like learning on my own and just realizing that Halloween is not for everybody, especially African-Americans. 
Very good. So you were a little specific on that. I'm just a little curious. What do you mean not for African Americans? Um, witchcraft and everything like that. We were part of that. So it was just another way to take us out. I feel like, um, cause it was like, okay, we had slavery. Then we came back with Halloween and we were attacked and, you know, ridiculed in that situation as far as Halloween as well. Okay. Very good. You said a lot. So let me help you out. So to what she was saying earlier, like, there's different interpretations throughout the years of what this is as far as Halloween or even a fall harvest festival or something like that. That's something for the kids, for them to just to be joyful and, and to live out their childhood and their innocence. I don't see anything wrong with that. Not if you're going, not if you're trying to go with just that version versus like the traditional Halloween, whatever that is, that I think most people aren't aware of or what they're really even trying to celebrate. Okay, what do you say? I stand by my original statement. Okay, very good. So let me show you what Christ said out of his own mouth that we ought to do. Because nowhere inside of the Bible can you find Halloween. Nor, again, like I said before, is it condoned. You know what I mean? It's not encouraged by the Bible to keep that. God already gave us certain things for us to keep. Like, for example, do you know what Tabernacles is? You know what Tabernacles is? I have an idea. Okay, so since you're a Catholic, right? Does your church celebrate Tabernacles? No. Okay, what about you? I'm not Catholic. But did you celebrate Tabernacles? No, no, no. So that is a high holy day that we kept inside of the Bible, but somehow we're going to be, we're guaranteed to almost keep Halloween, but we're not going to keep Tabernacles. You see what I'm saying? You got it? Yes, sir. Good. First John chapter five and verse three. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. So it says that God's commandments are not grievous. So there are high holy days that we have set up inside of the Bible that we have to go according to. Not Halloween. That can't be found there. Give me that, Mark. This is the book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 9. And he said unto them, For well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. So it says that we reject the commandments of God, which is to love him and keep his commandments to follow after our own traditions. And that's exactly what Halloween is. A lot of bad things happen to our people during Halloween. And we as adults, as grown folks, right, as leaders in our community, we have to shun that because we could no longer give away candy to people who we don't know. You know what I mean? Our kids are getting sick, right, getting abducted. Bad things are happening to them. And when we are OK with the traditions that are set here, we allow for those things to happen. And that's kind of why we're out here to raise awareness to it. Yeah, it's paganism. Oh, it's paganism, it's paganism. So, so you pagan? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Is Halloween, in your in your opinion, I know you don't celebrate it, but is it a good thing for the community or is it a bad thing for the community? It's just as good as McDonald's is for the community. Okay, very good. I like that answer because McDonald's is horrible. But why do you say that? Expound. Well, I mean, everything is a distraction from what we actually need for our bodies and for and not just our physical bodies, but it's also spiritual bodies. and. While you have Halloween, it's like people can celebrate or choose not to celebrate Halloween, but then you still have people who go to McDonald's and it's the same, there, there's a, it's the same category. It's the same message of what sin we bring upon ourselves when we do something that's not necessarily biblical or just overall spiritual. It's like if you feel edified in celebrating Halloween, then do it. If you feel edified in eating something that's not necessarily good for you, then do it. Otherwise, if you're actually lying to yourself and knowing that it's not serving you and serving your greater purpose that goes beyond what we, on this mundane world, set for ourselves, then what are we doing? Very good. So I like what you said. And again, we share the same sentiments because uh, there's no profit in us as a people coming together and celebrating Halloween that was never for us. It came from demonic roots that had no positivity to it, but over a dispensation of time, it was given back to us to, to um, as an upliftment, as fun. Because if you, if you ask any of the little kids that you see around, they get candy, you understand? But not to mention all the evil things that happened to try and cover up the holiday. Watch this. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter nine, verse 11. Envy not the glory of a sinner, so the glory of a sinner are when people who go against God and uh, do sinful things, they prosper. So it says that we can't envy them. So I like the fact that you go in the house and you don't have no ties with, just like us. So we don't envy those people. Go ahead. For thou knowest not what shall be his end. Meaning we don't know what's going to happen to him because a lot of people who celebrate this holiday, what happens? A lot of bad things happen. We're talking about people get sick. 
Um, there's abductions, right? People get attacked, robberies, murders, all sorts of things. Now, I come from Bridgeport in the hood, and I see these things all the time. You know, like all's Hollow Eve. You understand? Like people TPing houses, destroying people's properties, vehicles, and stuff like that. And that's why we can't really do these things. So we have to speak against them. The Bible says, the Bible warns us about these things happening. So we're going to go to the book of Colossians, chapter 2, and verse 8. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you. Beware. So when it says beware, I mean be prepared for these things are to come. Be cautious about these things. That's about to read on. Through philosophy and vain deceit, after the, excuse me, after the tradition of men. After the traditions of men. So the Bible tells us to beware these things because these things will rise in the earth. Halloween isn't in the Bible, so that means that it's a tradition of the devil or man or man. Yep, it's exactly. So again, that's all we really wanted to come out here. I'm glad that you're not celebrating it, um, but we have to bring awareness to our friends, our family, because this isn't something that we should be celebrating. Is Halloween something that f does Halloween fix our communities or does it make it worse? I think it makes it worse. Why do you say that? Um, because again, like you said, we can't go to our, thy neighbor and ask for sugar. What made you think that I will let my child go to a stranger and give them candy? Very good, very good. What do you say about that? Yeah, I hope you was listening. What do you say about that? Does Halloween make the world better for you? Or do you think it could make it worse, young man? Make it worse though. Okay, why do you say that? Because you give all the free candy. <laughs> I do get candy. I do get to eat stuff over the weekend but like like it's like to the point like people can put some more like dangerous stuff poisoning candy uh you can get poisoned you can like yeah just different spirits onto you and some people are already going through certain things in lives and i feel like spirits attract certain spirits so very good so you said a lot and i think I, I i agree with you because halloween does present that and watch what the bible has to say this is the book of isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1 woe to the rebellious children saith the lord that taketh counsel but not of me and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit so halloween is not of the spirit of god like you said it's of the devil and that's why it's a lot of satanic rituals. And that's why we have to prevent our people from celebrating it. And that's kind of why we're out here trying to see where our people stand at. Because it's a covering, but not a covering of the Lord. Okay? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, who draws near to God with their mouth? Just saying, oh, praise Jesus. I love the Lord. He's my savior. I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. The Christians, right? You go to any Baptist church, any Methodist church, any, any, any of those churches, you'll see our people praising God with their mouth, okay? Yeah, but their hearts it, and with their lips do honor me, uh -huh. but have removed their heart from me. They removed their mind far from God, go ahead. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. The fear towards God is felt by the precept of men. Those men are the ones that are teaching these Christians, so-called, how to fear God, right? So they tell them, oh, come to uh, church on Sunday. We're going to celebrate Halloween. That's wickedness. That's wickedness, right? Because you'll see, go to the, when you see uh, these people going from house to house, ask them what religion they are. Guarantee you they're going to say uh, they're Christians. I'll enjoy my kids. Okay, so, but do you know a lot of stuff be going down on Halloween? Yeah, yeah. To each their own. To each their own? <laughs> it ain't my business. <laughs> but your kids is your business, right? The kids are my business. She's gonna, she's gonna be an angel for Halloween, so I don't know what to tell you. She's gonna be an angel for Halloween? She's the devil. She First of all, <laughs> that's not what I had said. <laughs> yes, you said you were the devil. <laughs> Kids say the darnest things, don't they? Right? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but this is what, but this is what we teach our kids when we bring in these holidays, right? Because we don't know the origins. You see it right there. Our people worship the devil. Even the kids know that thing. Israel, God repent. Our people are hard-headed and rebellious, all right? But you see that little girl out there. She's saying, "My mom is the devil." All right. A lot of our people are the devil. But but hey, listen, we went out here, taught our people the scriptures, thus saith the Lord. Lord willing, somebody repents. 
See y'all next time, Israel. Most High Christ bless. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support 